Hello everyone, welcome to my channel once again. So today I'll be talking about tonsillitis. What tonsillitis is, the causes, symptoms and treatment. Tonsillitis is an infection of the tonsils. And the tonsils are two lymph nodes located at the back of your throat. They are oval shaped. If you open your mouth wide enough, you're going to see your tonsils at the back of your mouth, one here and one on the other end. They help to provide white blood cells that fight infections. The tonsils combat viruses and bacteria that enter into your body through your nostrils and your mouth. Hence, they are one of your body's defense mechanisms against infections. However, while they fight those infections, they can themselves become infected, causing them to get inflamed, and this is what we call tonsillitis. Tonsillitis is caused by bacteria or viruses. Now you see certain symptoms if you have tonsillitis. One notable symptom is that your tonsils become inflamed and they are red. Some could also have white spots on it or yellow spots on it. Other symptoms include sore throat, pain and difficulty when swallowing, ear pain, most people experience this ear pain when they also want to swallow. Some people also get chills, fever, and headache. So if you have the sutures and your tonsils are inflamed and reddened, and you have any of the other symptoms, you actually have tonsillitis. Now tonsillitis can occur in any individual, be it the young or the old. Although it occurs mostly in the very young children, it also occurs in adults. Now, for a child who has tonsillitis, um, the child is given certain medications to treat tonsillitis. However, if the symptoms persist afterwards and the tonsillitis continues to reoccur, another measure is taken. Now, what is the treatment that is given to a child who has tonsillitis? One antibiotic of choice that is given is this combination called amoxicillin clavulanic acid. It is given to the child based on the body weight of that child and the child takes it twice a day for at least seven days. Vitamin C is also given to this child because vitamin C helps your, body, your body's immunity and also ibuprofen which will help ease the pain and reduce the inflammation or paracetamol. For an adult who has tonsillitis, amoxicillin clavulanic acid can also be given to this adult. It comes in brands such as Augmentin, Amoxiclav, Flemin, and Delight. The adult takes it twice a day for seven days with the vitamin C and an MC, either ibuprofen, diclofenac, or paracetamol. However, if you must take any of those MC, you should let your prescriber know that you have also so that you are given the one that is most suitable for you now if you've gotten those medications and over time you continue to get the symptoms and the tonsillitis becomes so chronic it's important that you go for a tonsillectomy tonsillectomy is a surgical procedure whereby the tonsils are removed now, if a child continues to get tonsillitis and the symptoms and it makes the child have poor appetite, irritability, the doctor will suggest that that child gets the tonsils removed. Also, if an adult continues to get reoccurrent tonsillitis and the symptoms continues to reoccur over and over again, tonsillectomy is carried out on that adult to remove the tonsils. It is important that these tonsils get treated and if the symptoms continue to persist, it is important that tonsillectomy is done to prevent complications that can come from tonsillitis. Complications include obstructive sleep apnea. It could disturb your sleep. You do not have good sleep because it's beginning to cause narrowing of your airways. As such, you do not sleep well. Again, it can cause the buildup of pus. At the back of your tonsils and again infections can spread from one part of your body to another part of your body and this can be very harmful for 
your body. And that is why you should get yourself treated. Walk to your nearby hospital to see your doctor so that you get the right medication so that you are very fine. If this video was wonderful, if this video was lovely, if you liked this video, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my TikTok handle. Please like and share my videos. I am a farm doctor rejoice. If you have any questions, please kindly drop it on the comment box. See you in my next video. God bless you.